Hi, I'm Vicki from Peter and Annie's. And as most of you probably already know, six months ago, if you would have asked me what I was going to be doing, it wouldn't be running a coffee shop. I was going to be done. And then the opportunity came along for me to rent the old Quick Trip building, which had already had had a certified kitchen. So the expense of trying to convert it to for my use was going to be a lot less money than what it would have been if I had a building that I was starting from scratch. So needless to say, um, expenses are always higher than what you hope or expect. Um, we had to do some remodeling. The kitchen is a very, very small kitchen and it had a three compartment sink that was no longer compliant. Once you um, change ownership, everything reverts back to what the rules are currently. Once you've been established and stay in that location, you're grandfathered in until someone else takes over. So we had to get rid of that three compartment sink. We had to put in a dishwasher to conserve space. We had to buy that. And then we had to have a lot of plumbing and electrical work done to try to hook up the espresso machine, get the plumbing to the espresso machine, hook up the dishwasher, redo sinks. So we had hand wash sinks. Um, and it, because of the great location, I couldn't turn it down. So what this money will be used for is to pay all of these bills that I keep accumulating. Um, the plumbing bill, the electric bill, the dishwasher bill, the, um, I had to order some new tables, I had to order sinks, um, some things just because the kitchen is so small, we had to modify things and try to shrink them down as much as possible because there was just no room in there. Um, and then hooking up the espresso machine, that was an interesting fiasco, seeing somebody had wired it differently than what everybody else would wire it. And <laughs> so it, it didn't work. And so they had to run a whole new um, line of wires from way in the back of the store all the way to the front of the store through the ceiling to try to get everything hooked up. Um, the other thing uh, that we're still working on is trying to finish the rest of the store so that we can have indoor seating at some point here. And um, until all these other bills get paid, we're kind of stuck at a standstill or until I make enough money to be able to afford to be able to do that. Um, but that's our, our goal here is before the end of the year to have indoor seating. And then we're also going to have a lounge area with couches and chairs and stuff for people to just kind of relax you know, whether they're meeting with someone or whether they just want to read a book or whatever, that's part of the plan too. And then for the next year, um, we're, we want to have out, more outdoor seating. We have a whole area, uh, probably a 24 by 40 foot area that we're going to fence off and put outdoor seating. And so these are all of our plans for the future. And that's where this money would, you know, come in handy. It would help us move forward faster, trying to get some of those things done. Um, I really appreciate the opportunity to present you guys again and let you know that uh, you know Peter and Annie's is doing really well for only having a week under our belt I'm very very happy with how things are going um, they're better than I expected especially this time of the year with the whole COVID thing and everything else that's going on in the world um, I'm pleasantly pleased so I can about imagine what it's going to be like next summer it's going to be really crazy and we're going to need employees so anybody know of anyone who needs a job come spring tell them to stop on by also um, but I, again I thank you for letting me present again and it would be a great opportunity for Peter and Annie's to move forward and I just appreciate what you guys are doing because it's it's great for the community um, enough can't be said about what you've done so far we've you know with uh, island city food co-op winning the last time and them being able to move forward with their plans and all the people in the future that are also going to be able to be helped out with uh, your generosity it's it's really wonderful to see a small community like this being able to offer these kinds of things to the the locals um, it really means a lot and I know you guys talked about this long before COVID ever hit, but I think it's even more critical now that COVID is here. So um, I appreciate the opportunity and I'd like to thank everybody for 
listening and stop on by Peter and Annie's and have a coffee. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.